are excited. It is time to get back to the lake and check in with Frank and Amelia. They're just about an hour south of the Twin Cities near Cannon Falls. And they've been keeping active during their visit. Looks like you guys wore a lot of protective gear for this bike ride. We're, we're glad about that. <laughs> <laughs> just just yes. a helmet and a good attitude. That's it. Yeah, so we went on the uh, uh, Cannon River Trail. Spectacular trail. Uh, 20 miles. It goes from Cannon Falls to Red Wing. And so beautiful, scenic, lovely. Oh, it is really lovely. It's a very popular spot for hiking, biking, and rollerblading. So we decided to check it out on a bicycle built for two. <laughs> Take it easy, will you, lady? We're at the Cannon Valley Trail right now. It's a beautiful 20 mile stretch from Cannon Falls to Red Wing. Um, it's been here for over 20 years. There's a bunch of side trails for anyone who likes to go mountain biking. Um, and the Cannon Valley Trail also follows the Cannon River um, most of the way. So it's very scenic and beautiful. <laughs> It was a rail beforehand, and around 1992 is when they uh, paved the trail from here to Red Wing. So with the tandem bikes, it's all about trust, mainly. I really trust you, Amelia. You're doing great. Make sure, make sure both of you get in sync when you're, uh, when you're riding. You're doing a great job. Yeah, it's a little unstable. Because the person in the front is doing the steering, and the person in the back is mainly just doing the riding, so they have to trust the person in front. If you tell me to stop pedaling, I will. Um, so after, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Honey, Frank, Oops, Frank, sorry. I'm not Honey, kidding. please stop. But after five, ten minutes, people usually get the hang of it. It's a lovely trail if I was on a single bike. We're having a mid-trail mutiny right now. What's your problem? You think it's so easy to steer, so go ahead. Steer. Go ahead and you steer. Okay. How hard can it be? Uh, uh, I'm going to set my cup with a huge trailer in the back and trying to adjust that. It's all good. I just love how scenic it is and uh, very serene. Um, and it, how, how it follows the Cannon River and you see tons of wildlife along the way. So I, I want to tell you this. So we start out and he says, I have to sit in the back because they told me I have to sit in the back. That's what you have to do. <laughs> then I found out from a lady here who's a big biker. She said, oh no, the person who's bigger needs to sit in the front. It was very difficult with you. I felt like one of those semis with the uh, wide load or heavy load <laughs> trailer, you know? Made for good TV. <laughs> you did a great job until you quit. Got my, got my exercise. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Ben and Joe uh, Lacefield, the brothers that uh, run uh, Cannon Falls yeah, they were great. Canoe and Bike Rental. And we have their information on WCCO.com. And if you do go on it, yeah, it's good, uh, uh, valid for the season, but you do need a wheel pass and it costs four bucks. Yeah, and you, and also in the winter, uh, you can go and then do a cross country on that too. That's a nice trail for that. Fun. How about how about that, ladies? I, I'm now how known as that? Wide Load. That's my name. Yeah. All right, tomorrow, marriage therapy. We yep. look forward to it, guys. <laughs>